It's the Mustang Insider Show presented by Cal Portland, the largest building materials company of cement and construction material products on the West Coast. Now, here's Chris Sylvester, the voice of the Mustangs. It is another edition of the Cal Poly Mustang Insider powered by Cal Portland. Month of March means a great month for college basketball. Cal Poly men's basketball got started with a big win at home over UC Irvine, their first over Irvine in Mott Athletic Center in almost a decade. Got to go back to January 2013. UC Irvine, no question, they've been the gold standard, the powerhouse of the Big West. The Cal Poly had a great game plan, never trailed in a double-figure win at home last night over UC Irvine. That has to give the Mustangs some momentum ahead of next week's Big West tournament. But tomorrow, the focus is on senior night. And we shouldn't really call it senior night because – Cal Poly, a young team, they only have one senior. We should call it Tuca Knight. And uh, Tuca Yakala, Cal Poly's lone senior on this men's basketball team, this 21-22 season, joins us now on the Cal Portland Mustang Insider. Tuca, how you doing, my friend? Thanks so much for taking some time out of your schedule to hop on with us. I'm doing great. Uh, thank you for having me. Well, we just mentioned it. You are the lone senior on this year's team. It didn't start off like that, but uh, you are finishing the season out as kind of the captain, the veteran of this team, so to speak. What's it been like to, to be in this role after looking up to guys each of the last three years? It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, when I came in here, we had five freshmen. Now only two of them are still with the team. I'm one of them, Kyle. My roommate since year one is another one of them. It's 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 crazy how fast college goes. Uh, it, it almost feels like it was yesterday when I was a freshman and I was playing with Don Fields, Marcellus, um, Garrick, just learning from these guys. And now before I even realized it, I'm kind of in this position where I'm I'm giving giving pointers to the younger guys and and I'm I'm getting maybe more more trust from the coach and just it's just crazy how fast they all happen. Uh, it is your fourth season with the program. You've played over 100 games in a Cal Poly uniform. A native of Helsinki in Finland. You're a long way from home. This is uh, your first time ever living out of the country, making the trip to Cal Poly. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, at, at what juncture of your teenage years, high school years, did you figure, I'm going to go play college basketball in America? And, and how did Cal Poly find you? How'd you guys get in touch? And how'd you become a Mustang? Well, the high school I went to in Finland is, is not really the same as it is here. It's, it's more of a collection. Uh, you, you could almost call it kind of a national team collection of young athletes in Finland. Uh, instead of playing a high school league, we would play the second highest league in Finland. Uh, so naturally, uh, we we had some really good players. My first year, we had five guys go D1. One of them was Larry Markin and now playing in the NBA. Um, that was kind of the first moment when I really realized that college in the United States might be an option. I've never really thought about it before that because it's not necessarily the route every get in, in Finland takes. Uh, then it took me two years to kind of get to my senior year and, and finish high school. We played before my last uh, last year, we played a summer tournament under 18 national team uh, tournament in, I forget what country we played in. Anyways, there was a coach from Cal Poly there. Uh, I think it was coach Reeves who, who since moved on uh, from Cal Poly. Uh, he, he was watching those games. Cal Poly had Coach P. I never actually ended up being coached by him, but he did most of my recruiting. Uh, he was from Poland, so he would naturally follow more of the European market. And uh, I came for my visit here. So what kind of place slow it was, so how beautiful it was. Even though I was so tired, um, our trainer, Crystal, still gives me gives me headache for how tired I was on my visit. Um, my meeting with her was one of the last things I did that day. And every other word started to be finished for me because I was just hoping to get to bed. Um, 
ended up still having to watch well get get to slash having to watch uh Cal Poly play Long Beach. Long Beach had a Finnish kid that back in the day too. So it was it was actually a fun game to watch. But me and my mom were both falling asleep all throughout that game. But <laughs> overall, it was a really nice experience for my visit. I fell in love with Slo. So it was kind of the natural choice for me. And here you are in, in a day and age of college basketball where rarely you find guys that will stay at the same school for four years. But you're, you're about to get your degree in the spring, summertime, you're a construction management major. We'll get into your future in just a moment. You're talking about old Edon Majuni at Long mm-hmm. Beach State. You guys had that, uh, that Finnish connection. So uh, I remember that very vividly. You guys got to play against each other a couple of times your first season at Cal Poly. Uh, talk about the transition, the difference in, in the way the game of basketball is played. Finland compared to, to what you have here in the States and the college basketball that you've been a part of for almost four full years now? Well, there's obviously some of the more straightforward differences. For example, we would play quarters in Europe. Here you play halves. Uh, you don't have media timeouts in Europe. Then again, you would have a two minute break between quarters. When my first year here, It was still the old uh, three-point line for basketball. So that was a little closer than it was in Europe. Uh, The three-second area is a little smaller here. They definitely call more charges um, on the floor in the United States. Uh, The the, uh, shot clock here is 30 seconds instead of 24. So there's a lot of small changes that kind of add up to making it actually a very different game from what it's in Europe. Uh, It's a little slower for some parts here. And uh, I think another major thing here, individual skill comes out a lot more. In Europe, you can have a team with average players who play really well together succeed a lot better than the same team would do it here. I think here you really end up having these teams who have maybe guys who are going to go to a draft next year and because they have that guy they're a really good team and cause a lot of headaches so i think one of the main things i've noticed is in europe the team aspect is a little more emphasized whereas here um teams you still play as a team but you feed off more from energy of very tough individual uh, performances. Tuka Yakala, Cal Poly's lone senior on this year's team, will be honored tomorrow night before the start of the Mustangs' home regular season finale against UC San Diego. It's kind of hard to believe that you've already been here four years. You played your first season under a different coaching regime. Second season, that's kind of when COVID hit. Last year was bizarre. This year has been a little more normal, but we still uh, faced a number of cancellations. I think four of our Big West games out of the 20 on the schedule got canceled. So we wind up playing uh, 16 regular season games this year. But uh, I mean, how much ha- have you grown as a basketball player, a student, a-, a man since you arrived at Cal Poly as a freshman and, and here in your-, your final months, I'd imagine, in San Luis Obispo? Well, I think that's, that's something that for me, it's a little harder to say, but for example, Kyle, um, whenever he's talking to someone about our first times meeting and our first year together, he keeps emphasizing how much I have kind of grown, uh, how much I've adapted to be in, in a way more American. Um, I was, I was pretty quiet. I, I was very uncomfortable talking English when I came, came here, uh, naturally stuff that you know culture shock you're not used to the new place you're living away from family for the first time so that creates a situation where I had a lot of room to grow um I've uh of course I've become more comfortable just um kind of to the to the people around me I have more friends now I'm I'm more social in a lot of ways Basketball wise, I I think one of the bigger things, especially with COVID, is just 
learning to handle adversity a lot better. Um, it used to be pretty, pretty straightforward. You'd have these games, you'd, you'd have your team, everyone would generally be healthy, uh, especially well, when, when we had that coaching change after my first year. That's a time when I was like, what is going to happen? Like, I'm not going to know at all what next year is going to bring. Like, it, it was one of the weirder spring breaks I've ever had, um, just not knowing what the future brings. And then Coach Smith starts with us. And the next, uh, the next thing we know, COVID hits, everything gets shut down. Nothing's happening. No one really knows what's going on. We don't know how many games we're going to play in a season. That really teaches kind of how, how to just, just go to every game, appreciate that you get to play, um, not put too much emphasis on, on a single game coming up. For the example, this year, I think everyone was really looking forward to playing UCLA. I think they were ranked number four at the time. That ended up being canceled because of COVID. Um, that's that's kind of a bummer, but you just kind of have to, at that point, enjoy the extra rest you get, get ready, start the conference off strong. Uh, it, it just, I, I, I think I've really learned to handle different situations well. Well, tomorrow night, it's Tuka night inside Mata Athletic Center, Tuka Yakala. Cal Poly's only senior, again, honored before the start of the game. Get there early to Mott Athletic Center. It's a 7 o'clock tip, but get there about 6.45 if you want to be a part of the senior day ceremonies. I know travel, especially international, is tough right now. Will you have any family coming to San Luis Obispo to, to watch your final home game in Mott Athletic Center? I'm sure they would have loved to do that. Um, I kind of ended up talking to a lot of my family and uh, – my dad has been here a couple of years before. My mom hasn't. My mom was here with my visit. But I, I think for them at this point, it's more valuable to come here for my graduation rather than my senior night. Uh, because after graduation is, is something I actually get to hang out with them a lot more. If they came here right now, I wouldn't really have to, that much time to spend with them. Um, it's, it's a 10 hour time difference. It's, it's not cheap by any means. So, so sadly they won't be here, but I'm sure everyone will be watching from home. Well, Tuco, we'll, we'll have them covered on ESPN plus as best we can. When we make a big run next week in the big West tournament though, I, I hope that uh, there are some cheaper uh, last minute tickets to get out to uh, the big dance. Uh, to see the Cal Poly Mustangs make a little bit of history. Let's talk about basketball. I mean, you guys just beat UC Irvine last night. I talked to you a couple years ago, and I said, what's, what's the one team that you haven't beaten yet that you really want to beat before your eligibility's up? You said UC Irvine. You had one last crack at them. Saw them for a second time this season. You guys beat them last night. Take me through uh, the excitement that you guys felt after the win and the confidence that you should be able to take into the rest of the season? Well, you know, all of this year, uh, I think there's been glimpses in every game of how good we can be. I think last night was the first time we really brought it together for a full 40 minutes. I think it really showed how good of a team we can be when we do, when we do what we're supposed to do, right? When we're, when we're playing as a team, when we're not, trying too hard, we're, we're just staying locked in. Um, everyone was really happy after the win. Uh, of course, it's, it's a huge thing to beat Irvine, although they haven't been doing as well this year, but they're still a really good team. They have a coach who knows how to win. He's proved it over the years. Um, it, it's, a, it's a big thing for us to beat a game like that, especially this point of the year. Uh, getting momentum um, tomorrow night facing San Diego. I think we're, we're all feeling very confident. Uh, getting a win from that, we would go to the tournament with a really good flow going on, which, which would be huge. Uh, you know, 2014, I think, was the year Cal Poly last went to the tournament, uh, the March Madness. And uh, they didn't have they had a very similar season to ours, you know, they didn't do as good as they maybe hoped. The good thing is 
what really, really matters is the last four games in the conference tournament. And that's that's what we've been building for. And and it's it's looking really good for me and and the team right now. I think the confidence is high. I think everyone believes we can achieve everything. Uh, President Armstrong came to our locker room after yesterday's game and he said the words, why not us? And that's really kind of the mentality right now. Why, why couldn't be us? Exactly. I mean, especially in a conference like this, where there's not that much of a gap between the top and the bottom Tuka Yakal of Cal Poly men's basketball joining us. So tomorrow night you will suit up and play your 105th game in a Cal Poly uniform. It's kind of tough to wrap your head around 105 of them uh, in the Cal Poly green and gold. And you'll add to that total next week in the conference tournament in Henderson, Nevada. But I'd imagine it's tough to pick out one moment as you reflect on your Cal Poly career that is yet to be over and could add some memorable moments to it. What sticks out to you as you look back at your four years as a Mustang? Well, one of the, one of the things that I kind of come top of my mind right now, um, I think it was my first year when we played Bethune Cookman and we were down, was it one or two points? And Mark Crow hits uh, off the backboard three pointer buzzer beater. That's definitely one of those games I'll, uh, I'll always remember. Um, Smith's first year, we played Fullerton. I think we played four overtimes. Uh, I didn't play. It wasn't my personal best games, but it, it's crazy to be part of something like a four overtime game. You don't, you don't easily forget stuff like that. Of course, last year, um, going into conference tournament, my first time out there getting that big win from Fullerton on the first round uh, started bad against Irvine. We came back. We almost had Irvine on the second game. Uh, that, that, that's one of those moments that every big West tournament, I feel like is something players remember. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping this, this year's big West tournament is going to be the last thing I kind of vividly remember from my college career. Uh, a lot of great memories uh, when you look back at uh, what the career was here for you, Tuka Yakala, construction major. You mentioned the folks are coming out for graduation later in the year. So what's next for you? You know, it's after college, uh, you face kind of the hard decision. Uh, you're you're kind of the, it's the first time in your life when you really have to make a decision. Uh, what do you want to go for? And it's been it's been hard for me to kind of decide, especially coming from a huge basketball family, playing basketball since I could walk. You know, it's always been part of my life. But I've come to the point where I've uh, I've decided it's time to put the shoes on the shelf and and kind of concentrate on other aspects of my life. Uh, start start working construction, which. I'm very passionate about both. I've always been very passionate about basketball and uh, construction too. So, so to me, it's not really a, some, it doesn't feel like I'm losing one or the other. I'm, I'm prioritizing one over the other. I, I don't think I'll ever stop living basketball in my life. You know, I love the sport, even though I feel like I'm, I'm not necessarily wanting to play uh, full time after college. Are you hoping to stay in California, America, maybe go back home to Finland? Have you thought about where your next chapter might be located? I'm, I'm planning to stay at least for my first year in the United States. Uh, then because I'm international, um, visa stuff, always not the easiest to figure out. So that will be kind of the big question mark at that point. Uh, you know, I'm 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 gonna live my life year by year for now, at least uh, figure out what future brings to me. Uh, it's all pretty new, you know. It, it's the first time when uh, nothing's really guaranteed in life. When you come to college, you're pretty much guaranteed to have four years of college basketball uh, studying, unless you, of course, get injured or something. But that's just part of life. Um, 
it, it's it's too hard to predict the future you know uh, when 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 you have so many variables like visas uh, just uh, getting jobs work authorizations everything like that well tuka i can say personally it's been a pleasure to cover you the flying fin the last four years and i'm looking forward to, to watching you and your team make some more memories here in the month of march these next couple of weeks congrats on the big win over uc irvine last night and really look forward to your little ceremony before tomorrow night's game. Thank you. All right. Best of luck to Mustangs men's and women's basketball as they head to the big West tournament next week in Henderson, Nevada, worried about rising PG and E rates. Well, you shouldn't. If you get with AM sun solar, go solar, pay less on your monthly bills, AM sun solar, Visit them at amsunsolar.com, your local solar experts. We'd also like to thank Dignity Health, all-star treatment you can trust. To learn more about healthcare services, visit dignityhealth.org slash Central Coast. We're coming at you with another episode of Mustang Insider next week, presented by Cal Portland. Be on the lookout and ride high Mustangs. This has been the Mustang Insider Show presented by Cal Portland with a commitment to environmental leadership that has made the organization stronger and is the primary choice of contractors. The Mustang Insider Show. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Cal Poly Sports Network.